What up, Smart Rapper Gang? Yeah. Today we're talking about 10 things you must do before you release your music. This is gonna help your music get heard more, have it more established legally, have everything ready to go and really able to push and actually get your music heard. So this video is going to help you a lot. Please watch this. And the very simple things. It's not hard to do these things. We're gonna get into that. I am Rob Level. This is SmartRapper.com and you're about to get smarter. Woo! Right after the intro. Don't knock my ass. Don't knock my ass. Okay, number one thing I want you to do um, when you have your songs all finished, they're all, they're all good, they're good to go, they're all boxed up, they're good, you know, they're mixed and mastered. What you want to do first is you want to register them with ASCAP or BMI. And you can sign up for ASCAP or BMI. Um, actually, I'm pretty sure BMI is free. ASCAP may cost $20. It's really not a big deal, but it's good to have these established and then, you know, submit your songs so that, you know, they, they can they can track them and help you get your money. You also want to get on Sound Exchange and stuff like that. Go to Google Sound Exchange. Um, it's just in case your song really does take off, it's, you know, you can, you can get some more some more of your money. But that's number one, and that's really not that complicated. I'm kind of getting that one out of the way. Okay, let's go on. Okay, number two, copyright your music, okay? Now this is, if you actually feel like you have hit songs on here, and you feel like somebody might steal your records, what you can do is you can actually go to, uh, I think it's copyright.gov, and it's, I think it's like 39 dollars super easy to do and it's the same cost to submit one song for copyright as it is to submit a hundred songs for copyright so when your whole project's done for one small fee you can submit all those songs for copyright now they're copywritten and the whole point in this is if you have to ever go to court is that if you if that comes about and you show look I copywrote these at this time and this date you're almost guaranteed to win the, the, the dispute because you can show proof that it was copyrighted. Now, of course, it's copyrighted automatically when you create it, but if you ever have to go to court, having this copyright is gonna, it's gonna instantly protect you, okay? That's the reason to do it. Super easy, too. It doesn't take, didn't really take any effort. Number three, you're gonna wanna choose your distribution company. Um, you know, something like DistroKid or TuneCore. I've made a bunch of videos on which ones to choose, um, and I'll put links below for you guys so you guys can go check those out. It's like $20 a year for DistroKid. It's uh, like $50 per album for TuneCore. After looking and making the video, made like two weeks ago on it, I'd say that honestly DistroKid is probably the better choice. I'll put a link below for you guys to go check that out. And if you use my link, you actually, I think you get, uh, I forgot what, 10 or 20% off when you sign up. So go check that out. And I signed up for that just so that you guys could actually get that discount. Cause I don't use, I still use TuneCore, but cause I didn't start with DistroKid. Number four, make sure that, cause this could be your first project or maybe it's your second project, but you're not fully established on social media yet. Go out there and create your social media accounts that are the same handle across all of your social media uh, so that you own them and have them locked down. Plus, if you have like, let's say you have 12 songs, I really want you to go out there and I want you to make at least a video, even if it's just a picture of yourself on the video for all of the songs so that when you, when you, you can upload it to YouTube and everything else like that. Or you can make lyric videos. I have a lyric video course. I'll put a link below to that. I teach you guys how to make lyric videos. It is so stupid, super stupid easy and it increases the visual stimulation that happens when somebody watches your video because they can understand your lyrics. They can say, damn, they can see the, the lyrics, the poetry that you wrote. They can see that. That makes them more of a fan. They see words moving on the screen. It's keeping them entertained visually and audibly, right? So that increases the chance they stick around, they watch, they learn, and they become a fan of you. Lyric videos are very, very important. Just as well, the same as, uh, not the same, but just like a music video is for uh, gaining a new fan, okay? So you're gonna want lyric videos, you're gonna wanna get your social media set up, you wanna build those videos and get those up there. And if you have an Instagram, you're gonna wanna convert them to a thousand by a thousand uh, on Instagram. If you guys want me to, um, I'll actually show you how to make those really cool, you ever seen the World Star ones where they have the, the, the text in the bottom and the top and it looks like the music video and the music video is in the middle. I can actually show you guys how to make those. I'll make a video on that. Comment below if you're interested in me doing that because it's super easy to do and I do it all the time. Number five, prepare your marketing plan. Your marketing plan is essential because a lot of artists fail because they spend more time in the studio making the songs and then think that when they release it, it's just gonna you know go out there on its own and have its own legs. A record does not market itself until it already has the momentum. So the problem is, is that if you don't have a marketing plan, how is it gonna get hurt? If you put a song out, how's it gonna get heard? Chances are you've released songs in the, in the past and you, it just sits there. It doesn't get any views and you're mad and you hate it and you hate that you even released it and you think oh, you're gonna quit rapping because, or you're gonna quit music because it's not getting heard. Well, it's not getting heard because you're not promoting it. It may not be that it sucks or it's bad, it's just that nobody's listening to it because you didn't have a marketing plan. You have to have a marketing plan. Right, you have to know who you're gonna market it to. You have to know where, if you have any money for marketing funds, you need to know where you're gonna put that money at. You need to have a plan for this before you release it, otherwise you're just sitting dead in the water. 
Number six, make your EPK to get ready to send out to blogs or to anywhere else that you're gonna try to get more, get your stuff heard, right? An EPK is an electronic press kit. And a press kit's gonna have like a picture of you, it's gonna have your song, it's gonna have a short bio about you. It's pretty much just gonna be like, here's who this artist is, check him out. It's much more professional than you just sending an MP3 to somebody, which people do all the fucking time to me. Hey Rob, check this out. Why would I check this out? Who the fuck are you? If you send me a picture and you send me a little bio about yourself and you send me something that's personalized towards me, maybe I'll check it out. Maybe, maybe, but I'm not, I'm not even like somebody who posts up your music. But if you're sending that stuff to a blog, you think they're gonna fucking take you seriously You just send them a song? They're not gonna listen to that. They get 100 people a day sending them songs, 1,000 people on some of these blogs. You have, to have, you have to look like a professional and sound like a professional to be taken as a professional for somebody to give you a chance to even listen to your music, okay? Right? You know that, you know what I'm saying. Number seven, get your hands on the blog list. I have a blog list of over 200 hip hop blogs and pop blogs and some other blogs that I hand collected that you can actually use to send your music out. I put a link below for you guys to that or you can go to smartrapper.com slash blog list and that blog list, get your hands on it. You copy, put your email in there, send your little EPK with your new song and a link out there. Plus there's a lot of tips on how to get posted, why you won't get posted, uh, strategies on getting posted. I have some, I, I interviewed some uh, music blogs and said, when do you post people and why? And I included all that inside of uh, that hip hop blog list set. Okay, check that out. Link's gonna be below or smallrabbit.com slash blog list. Do it. You need that because how else are you gonna get in touch with the blogs? Number eight, do what I did from my last single, Spotify, that really helped me a lot is, that is you go out there and you hire a Spotify, a company that markets your song to Spotify playlist. Spotify playlists are essential, as you guys have heard me talk about recently, with getting your music heard. A Spotify playlist can have you know, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 subscribers. The people listen to that playlist every day, that's where they find their new music. So if you get on those playlists, you can gain a lot of fans, right? And some of these places will only cost like $300 to do that marketing for you, okay? They already have established relationships with all of these playlists. They have, they, you know, people know who they are when they reach out to them. They know which playlist to hit up for your specific record. Like, it's a good play. I did it, it worked exceptionally well, and it's not super, uh, super expensive. Some of those places were charging like $2,000, $1,000, and I couldn't see a reason why to go with them when I went with these other guys for $300. You know what I'm saying? Like. It was well worth the $300. Wouldn't have been worth $1,000, but was well worth $300. Number nine, make a radio friendly version of your song, okay? If you cuss a lot in it or whatever it is, make sure that you also have a radio friendly version. So if, you need, if you're gonna send this to a radio station or a DJ or a, a, you know, a night DJ that may potentially play your song or you're gonna pay them, at least have this record on hand if somebody asks you for a radio friendly version. Um, I used to get a lot of parents asking me for radio friendly versions, you know, or, you know, edited versions of my songs. One time they were having a, a birthday party at a roller rink, they rented out the whole roller rink and they said, my son loves your music, can you give me your whole project radio friendly so I can play it on loop for like hundreds of kids to hear at this birthday party. And um, at that time I was like, no, I, I don't. I don't have all my songs radio friendly. I have a couple of them and I sent them those songs. But um, like that's what I'm saying though, if you have them on hand and already ready, uh, it's gonna help you a lot because some, some people don't want their kids listening to it. So for the younger audience, or if you're, again, the radio can't play that like that if it's cussing, right? So it's very easy when you're, when you're exporting your songs, you're finishing them up, it just have the producer or, or have the engineer go through and just, you know, just scrub out all of your cussing or flip in the words uh, that you need to put in there for that, especially if it's a single, replace the words, you know what I'm saying? Super easy, but I just want you guys to think about that. Keep that on hand because it could really come in handy. Especially if you feel like you have a song. Now, if you don't already have an established name or a bio that pops up when somebody Googles your name, like look what happens when you put, type in my name, or even if you type in my old rap name, like I have Google bios, okay? Like they pop up, it's like boom, this is who this person is. And there's like tons of articles written on me and I'm all over the place and you know you can see who I am, right? Well, the thing is here is that if you don't have these things yet, you need a website. Okay, and a website is super easy to make. This way you can put, you, you can upload your songs on here, you, put, you copy paste your YouTube videos in here, you can put the lyrics to your songs on here. And this is so that if somebody, if somebody does happen to Google you, a blog Googles you, they can then learn more information about you. It's gonna help you have a higher chance of actually getting posted on blogs and when people Google you, they can see that you're a serious artist. Plus you're gonna have your own email address. It'll be your rap name at whatever your rap name .com is. That looks very professional, especially if, if you're emailing blogs from that email. They're like, oh, this is like a real artist. It's not a Gmail. It's not like, it's not like rapper173 from the bay at gmail.com like they're not even gonna open that fucking email and if they do they're not gonna take you seriously okay so there's a lot of benefits to having your own um website um i built smartrapper.com i built tons of other websites it's very easy to do this if you want to build your own website i'll put a link below for you guys go check it out uh i use bluehost so you can go to smartrapper.com slash bh and um that's gonna bring you over there and you're gonna get a free domain 
Okay, so whatever your rap name is, .com, like yourrapname.com, whatever it is, you can get that, lock that down, you can get hosting for an entire year, um, and you're gonna be able to, it's a one-click WordPress install, it's like click, click, you choose which theme you want, it installs it, and then you can just watch like two YouTube videos on how to use WordPress. It is su super stupid easy once you get used to it, and then you have a website, and you can sell merchandise on your website, you can make money from your website, you can monetize the views and people that come to your website if you start getting traffic to it. There's a lot of good reasons to have a website, so go ahead and check that out. I'm gonna put a link below for how to start your website, I'm gonna put a link below on uh, the Lyric course that I have, I'm gonna put a link below to the blog list for you guys. I put all that stuff below for you, okay? All right, make sure you check those links, but you know what time it is. I got this right here, man. It's time for word of the day, new words. You can say new words for your rhymes and for your wordplay. By the time you leave this video, you'll be smarter than you was before. This is so stupid. Randios. When something's impressive because of an unnecessary amount of largeness or grandeur, usually used to show disapproval for something. So like when a weight loss company says, you'll lose 50 pounds in a week on our product, they're being grandiose lies. All right, hit me with a like, hit me with a comment, and uh, hit me with a subscribe, hit that little bell when you do, because it's gonna notify you every time I release a new video, so you can become a smarter rapper. I appreciate y'all watching. Go ahead and check out these other videos. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow with another video. I really hope that this helped. Go get everything going, you know, get your music out there, you know, and also uh, comment below if you want me to uh, release that video on how to make those those square, cool looking music video things for uh, for Instagram or anywhere else. That, you know, Worldstar uses them all the time, and professional rappers do. I'll show you guys, it's super easy. Comment below, and check out the blog list, the website, you know, everything else. Check those out. Check these videos. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Keep hustling. Smile.